Hey guys, it's GamingDad56 here bringing you a little bit different video today. Um, it's been a little while since I put any videos out. There's a reason for that. I have been waiting for something quite, uh, it's quite exciting for me. So, what, I, what I've done, I've ordered myself a new graphics card, which if you know anything about the landscape of graphics cards right now, is not an easy thing to do. They are extremely expensive. Um, very frustrating. However, the graphics card I have in my computer just is not cutting it anymore. So, what I thought I would do is show you guys this process. It's very exciting for me. I'm going to pull the old graphics card and I'm going to put in the new graphics card. Um, and I'll bring you along for that whole ride. But first I thought, let's see how the new graphics card compares to the old graphics card. So I've downloaded this program called 3D Mark. Now this is just a basic edition. I'm not going to pay uh, to do a benchmark just for these purposes. But this is a nice easy program. You can find it on Steam. Um, I imagine it will be really popular now because uh, PC Building Simulator uses this as part of its gameplay. So I imagine people are going to be downloading it. But uh, this, is what, this is what I've used to do some of my tests. Here you can see I've got... An NVIDIA GeForce GTX 660 video card. This thing is quite old. Um, it's done really well for me. It plays games just fine. However, when I'm trying to play and record at the same time, we run into some issues. Um, and I'm also not able to play very many games at 60 FPS. Now for me, if I can get above 30, if I can get in the 40s and 50s, I'm fine with that. But as soon as I start to record, then it drops down to more like 30 FPS, um, which doesn't make for the best recordings. So let's run this test and see how this performs. And then we're going to put the new one in and see how it does. So go ahead and run this. Now this does take a little while to run. I'm not going to put you guys through the whole... The whole running process um, but if you guys are interested in seeing how your hardware performs this is a nice little program just to see it will give you at the end of the test it'll give you a nice comparison uh, between your graphics card and your CPU so here it goes and you guys can't see it actually running so what I'll do is I'll come back when we have the results, and I will show them to you. All right, guys, here you can see the the uh, results from the test. So the, I, I really like this about this program. It breaks it down nice and simple for you. My CPU score was 2494, almost 2500. But my graphics score was only 1205. So the way that this does it, it, it shows you, you know, if you're experiencing some some slower gameplay issues is it your cpu or is it your gpu your graphics card here you can see there's a pretty big difference in these scores uh so my graphics card is what is really holding this system back ideally these scores would be pretty comparable to each other um and here you get a little system info down here as well again we can see the geforce gtx 660 and my cpu is an amd fx 8350 um so, you know, this is, it's a nice little program. It works great for, for what I use it for. It's not, you know, it's not a ton. It doesn't do everything, but it, it works for me. So now that we've seen this score, 1306 overall, we're going to uninstall this graphics card and reinstall the new one and see how this score changes. Let's start taking the computer apart. All right, here we are guys. We are taking off the side case of my desktop computer. There we go. There you can see the guts of the computer. And I am just gonna pop this over here to the side these fans are hooked up, uh, if in, and if I need to take the side case off, I can always unplug these fans, but for now, we'll just leave it over there. All right, so here, if you can see this well, here is the GTX 660. This has been a great graphics card for me. Um, I, I really have no complaints about this card whatsoever, but 
it's just getting outdated. It's old. So it's time for me to, to get this thing updated a bit. It even has this crossfire or uh, SLI support. And uh, I was never, <laughs> I never was able to take advantage of that. That would have been really nice though. Um, okay, real quick. There we go. Hit the power button a few times to make sure all the power is out. Good. This is a relatively new computer. I actually haven't bought a desktop computer in um, well, since 2011, an actual full desktop computer. Um, I've used various pieces and components and I've taken, uh, just continuously upgraded what I had. Uh, this is now one of the oldest components in this computer, this graphics card. Um, I've got my Corsair 600 watt power supply here. I just ordered this motherboard, RAM, CPU, all of that came in new as well as this case last year. So those are nice and new. Um, pull this out, there we go. All right, 660 is disconnected. We'll pull it out of here, nice and easy. I forgot this motherboard has these little locks on it for the PCI slots. There we go. GeForce GTX 660. This graphics card has done me well for years. It's played through uh, Farming Simulator, wow, 11 maybe and up? I'm not sure. It was either 11 or 13 when I got this thing and started started using it. Um, so I think I could be wrong on that, but it's played through a couple of farming simulator versions It's done really well for me. So, um, I think, I don't know, I'm going to have to put this in the retire bin somewhere. We'll have to, we'll have to go hang that up on the shelf. It was a really great card. It's just old. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't do so well anymore. You can see the benchmark score 13 was it 1306. Yeah. Just not very good. So instead we're going to be putting in this guy, the GeForce GTX 1060. Now, I've never been too familiar with how NVIDIA does their numbering systems, um, but it seems to me like the last two numbers, the 60, kind of represent uh, the line or you know how high of a graphics card it is. And then the, the first either one number or two numbers, if you get up into the 10 series, represent like the series or the family. So the 1060, I think, is along the same lines as a 660. It's just way, way newer. And this is, you can see I'm taking this, uh, I'm taking this, I just cut the tape. This is literally, you guys are watching me unbox this. This has never been opened. So enjoy. I hope you enjoy the experience with me. I know I am enjoying it. I'm super excited about this graphics card. The performance of this graphics card is supposed to be about twice as good uh, if not a little more than the 660. So this should really do well for my computer. And this will bring my, this whole computer setup now will be really, really modern, finally. Ooh, graphics card, quick install guide. We're getting there, we're getting there. Power. Always, always good to have power to your graphics card if it requires it which most of the ones you're gonna use for gaming purposes nowadays do. Okay, there it is. Set that box aside. Let's open this guy up. Okay. Whew, that feels good. Look at this. This is one sexy graphics card too. So there it is. Looks nice. GeForce GTX 1060 OC by PNY. Two fans. So we'll just look at these look at these two graphics cards next to each other. You've got the 660. Sorry, you guys can't see this very well. Let me see if I can get a better grip on these. There we go. Trying to trying to get a good grip on it without touching all the important components. There's your 660, 
there's your 1060. This thing is a nice looking card. This thing is great, but you know, in terms of looks, this 1060 is way better. All right. So now we just need to get this thing plugged in to the motherboard and then of course supplied with power. Um, the quick install guide, you know, eh, who, who uses install guides anyway? Can't even, can't even find it. Where's English on this thing? It's nice that, uh, it's nice that they include so many, so many languages here. Precautions. Yep. It's not turned on. Got it. Install it. Got it. Quick installation guide. Place the graphics card above the expansion port. Connect your monitor to the connector. Oh yeah, press it in firmly. They may require auxiliary power. Wow, that is very helpful. Um, I knew all that, <laughs> as did most of you, I am sure. There's nothing overly surprising. You know what I like about this? I don't know if you guys can see this. Let me see if I can get a nice shot of it, right? Uh, let's see. Let the camera... Camera's got to gotta refocus here on this. Um, this has some nice covers for the, whoops, some nice covers for the, all the contacts. So that's nice. And actually on the back of the card, it has covers for the uh, connections too. So it's a nice feature. Okay. And it's going to sit in here just like this. Move some stuff out of the way. All right, let's see. There's my board. And make sure it's lined up nicely. Interesting. Mm hmm. It's not really the only issue is I'm gonna do one thing real quick guys it's funny I have this wireless card in here which I like the wireless card uh, it was it was pretty useful back in the day but I, I, I don't ever use wireless on my desktop computer anymore it's always hardwired into into the modem so there we go we're just going to pop this guy out of here. There you go. Wireless card. Make uh, getting this guy in a little easier, hopefully. Everything else can get out of the way for the install of this guy. This is the most important thing going in my computer right now. Okay. I think we are good. We just need to get it to slide right in. It's in. Locked in there. Yep. Seated well. And let's get it some power. All right. This actually has an 8 pin connector, whereas the 660 only had a 6 pin connector. So we are actually going to make use of this little extra. Two pin that was on here that I never used. All right, let's go ahead and plug the six in. Get the two in there. All right. Seated, seated. She is plugged in. All right, let's apply some screws. Finish it off. There we go. Helps if you know where your tools are. Screw number one. All right, and screw number two. And there you go. That is the GeForce 1060 OC plugged in and working. Huh, that power cable is interesting. 
Oh, well, I don't, I'm pretty sure we don't need it, so get that out of there. Now, what about this wireless card? Can I fit this guy back in here now? I don't really need this wireless card, <laughs> like I said. Um, yeah. Can I? Probably. It's just got this little lip on it that makes it not fit very well. And you know what? Since I don't need it, we're not going to worry about it. We're just going to take this wireless card out. Forget you, wireless card. Get out of here. We don't need wireless technology in this computer anyway. All right, so there it is installed. I'm going to get this thing put back together and plugged back in. Make sure everything is looking good. Turn the case cover the right way. That always helps. And slide it in. Thumb screws. Get that out of there. There we go. I want to make sure I keep track of that screw. I don't want to lose it. Come on, thumb screw. There we go. All right, now this thing is put back together. Let's get it plugged in and see how it performs now. All right, guys, here we are back at the desktop. Took a few minutes, updated the drivers and whatnot, uh, and we should be good to go. You can see this is showing up now as GeForce GTX 1060, three gig version. So let's run this test, see how it does. Remember, the previous one was 1306. I also switched this up so you guys can actually see the test a little bit. I probably won't put you through the entire test because it does take a couple of minutes, but you can at least see it get started. I'm hoping to see a pretty significant improvement here. Otherwise, I'm definitely going to feel like I wasted my money, but I'm not too worried about that. It should be. It should be a pretty good improvement. So this is the first, uh, in the demo version of 3D Mark, this is the first thing it kind of runs through. I've never used the full version of 3D Mark, so I have no idea what it does for that. But for this one, it runs through this Time Spy footage, I guess. I don't know if, you know, gameplay, whatever it happens to be. I mean, you're not actually playing the game. It's just playing video on there. But... It's designed to be a pretty intensive test, so there's lots of things going on. Um, you you can see in the picture in the background, you've got what looks like some sort of crystals growing all over the place, lots of weapons all over the place, plus a person. So it's designed to be pretty intensive. It also does a couple of different graphics tests, which you can read into it further if you want to, but basically one is trying to stress... Uh, one is trying to stress the graphics engine from one side, and the other is trying to stress the graphics card from a different, kind of a different angle. So that's why you see two graphics test scores. And it should be starting any time. There you go. Now I'm actually going to turn it down here because recording is going to hurt uh, this, this thing's ability to run. So I'm going to stop the recording here and let it run. All right, guys, here we are back with the results. So that new the new graphics card, the 1060, raised our score from 1306 up to 3762. So huge, huge, huge improvement uh, from the graphics card, which is what I expected to see. That's what I wanted to see since I, uh, you know, invested a pretty good amount of money in this thing. Um, but... You can see graphics test one and two. Both of those were like seven point something with the 660 uh, graphics card, and now they're up over 25. Or the one is up over 25, and the one is over 22. So huge, huge, huge improvement. And it actually helped improve the CPU score as well. Uh, before this was like in the eight FPS range, and I forget what the score was, but it was somewhere in the 2000s. Now it's up over 3000. So these are a little bit more comparable now. Now my graphics card is actually a little bit better than my uh, CPU. So maybe someday I'm going to have to upgrade my CPU. Uh, but, well, that's down the road. That's down the road. So with the new 1060, we've got better 3D Mark scores. We should see better gaming performance. I'm really excited. This is why I've been waiting to put out videos because I wanted to up the video quality. And this is going to help me do it. So... 
Until I see you guys in an actual gameplay video, thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please like, comment, subscribe, share it with your friends, um, and I will see you in the next video.